Okay, so let's look at a few examples where we simplify fractions. Remember what we said our steps would be. It is factorize, factorize to cancel common, cancel common factors. And finally, simplify, uh, simplify if these factors that didn't cancel okay so let's see so here we have 25 w over 45 w so if we have to factorize the numerator we can write 25 as 5 times 5 times w over 45 can be written as 9 times 5 and 9 is 3 times 3 times 5 times w and now we can cancel what is common there's a w w 5 and 5 so we left with 5 over 3 times 3 so if we multiply that that's 5 over 9 okay that's one example let's look at this one okay and all of a sudden we jump into uh, questions where we see oh no okay, and here I just want to I want to warn you you can't cancel those values they are not common there's not a thing like cancelling um, it's actually dividing into each other and here we are not dividing x with x x is not a factor Okay, so we first need to factorize now this top one we see we can't factorize that at all That's its simplest form. So let's treat it as one factor. This whole thing represents one factor Divided by and now we can factorize the denominator into two brackets. We know what uh, this would be an x and an x because there's no coefficient. Okay, since that's a negative, it means one will be positive and one will be negative. What times what gives me negative 15? And when I add it together, I get 2. That would be positive 5 and negative 3. Okay, and you could have gotten the hint of the positive 5 by saying x plus 5, then one of the brackets in the bottom would be x plus 5 as well. Okay, that's not always the case, but that could have given you a hint. Okay, so that in the end I'm left with, and remember if everything cancels, it didn't really cancel. We just divided the top with x plus 5, and we divided the bottom with x plus 5. So x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 is 1. And in the bottom we just have this one uh, factor left, x minus 3. We don't need the brackets anymore because it's not multiplying anything anymore. Okay, so and did, did you see our steps? We factorized, cancelled, simplified. There was no simplification necessary in this step. How about this one? Okay, so here we're going to have to factorize the numerator and factorize the denominator. Okay, numerator is going to be an x and an x plus and plus if both are going to have positives what times what gives me 12 and when I add it I get 8 that's 2 and 6 okay in the bottom same thing an x and an x both will be positives because it has to have the same sign and we have to add up to get 7 what times what gives me 10 and if I add it together I get 7 that's 2 and 5 gives me 10 2 plus 5 gives me 7 and again here I see lovely lovely these can cancel and I'm left with and please x and x does not cancel whole factors only so I'm left with x plus 6 over x plus 5 and please remember you can't cancel those x's okay you can only cancel whole factors with each other okay those are not factors they are terms okay let's try this this one that should be our last one let's see factorize first remember in all of the cases I should factorize first taking out a common factor so that that I can do first of all so I can take out a 4 here and I'm left with um, x squared this shouldn't be a square uh, sorry there should be an x okay so I can take out a 4x uh, that should be an x and I can take out a 4x and I'm left with x 1 the 4 has been taken I'm left with 1x here minus 3 okay why do I say minus 3 because 4 goes 3 times so everything gets divided by 4x and, and then I end up getting 3 here 
and then here I can just take out an x as a common factor and then what I'm left with is an x squared minus 9 okay and here I can cancel common factors there I go I can cancel those x's but then I see well these can't cancel but I notice that oh this is not completely factorized I can, f I can further factorize I've already cancelled the x's they they can remain cancelled and then in the denominator this is this difference between two squares it's x and x plus and minus and to get 9 is, uh, is 3 times 3 and here I can see those can cancel so that my final answer is 4 over x plus 3 and that's it I don't think this is very difficult if you get the basic ideas just please remember and maybe remember this is a general rule if there is a plus or a minus it means you have more than one term in the numerator or in the denominator you are not allowed to cancel over that plus and minus so you first have to factorize now as soon as those pluses and minuses are inside a bracket the whole bracket represents a factor and not a term anymore okay so that's the whole idea as soon as you see a plus and a minus not unless they are inside a bracket they cannot be cancelled okay uh, that's it for now we'll see you in the next video I think then we'll be looking at multiplying fractions with each other. See